This is from WAPO. Uh, politicians who tried to overturn an election and the local news team that won't let anyone forget it. Tom, I don't know if you want to read some of this. I, I don't I know if do. you can. You might want to open it on your own. I op and, I'm opening it in a different yeah. browser. I yeah. do want to read some of it because I think this, yeah. is, this is genuinely heroic. Yeah. Uh, the journalist at W. T W I T F. I'm sorry, an all news public radio station in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, made a perfectly reasonable decision a few months ago. They decided they wouldn't shrug off the damaging lies of election denialism. They wouldn't do what many in big journalism have done in recent months and shove into the memory hole the undemocratic efforts by some Republican memory elected hole. officials. <laughs> okay, memory hold, on second, hold, hold on, hold on. Yep. How much can you fit in the memory hole? <laughs> like, and, and if you, you want to shove things in into there? the memory hole, you can head over to yeah. adamandeve.com. <laughs> <laughs> and can you fit Checo. more in there if you get loop from Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. <laughs> com. Is that like hey, if you, you haven't had sex yeah. in a really long time? It's like that's <laughs> that's the uh, memory hole. That's what that's that's what that is. Uh, it's like or like you're like reminiscing, like you're, you're reminiscing. like eighty years that's old. It, you're you're like, oh, I remember the yeah. old memory God, hole. God, I remember going to the old oh. memory hole, going for a dip in the old the memory, old memory <laughs> hole. <laughs> Uh. Oh, it's amazing. So it goes on in that vein. Um, but it says, uh, let me jump down. Look at this guy's fat face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know. So these WITF reminded its audience of these elected officials. They unknowingly or they knowingly spread disinformation or flat out lied. This was an unprecedented assault on the fabric of American democracy. The station has stuck to its pledge and its day-to-day -day coverage ever since by simply and without fanfare, including boilerplate language about how lawmakers conducted themselves during the attempts to overturn the election whenever they are mentioned in the course of regular news coverage. For example, a recent story about a state legislator's effort to get, a pencil, to get Pennsylvanians vaccinated was accompanied by a sidebar of text about the lawmaker in question. Quote, State Senator Ryan Aument was one of 17 Republican state senators who signed a January 4th letter that asked Congress to delay electoral college certification because it said incorrectly, SCOTUS is to hear Trump v. Brockfar in the coming days. On January 11th, SCOTUS refused to fast track the case. The election fraud lie led to the attack on the Capitol. Dude, this is so great. This is exactly what we should be doing, man. Yes, like, absolutely. If they, like, that's your legacy. And everything yeah. you do should be stained with that everywhere they go everywhere we should be like treating them like PETA, like throws fucking red paint on you if you wear like a you know a, a leather coat or whatever like everywhere they go somebody should throw <laughs> just fucking hurl some shit at them that just reminds you just throw them, the you constitution know, like, at them you right. just throw, constantly throwing copies of the constitution <laughs> wherever they go you just bounce it off their head read this you dumb fuck read this one time read it once yeah, uh, like supported the insurrection. And what were you going to say after that? I just want to support the insurrection. I'll yeah. pick uh, the guy who supported yeah. the insurrection to talk to. Exactly. I, you know, I, I feel like I feel like these people have they they're getting this redemption tour, right? They're going on Meet the Press and they're getting a chance to, you know, you're having these people on that were shitty and that participated in this and that voted against, even after they're, they stormed the fucking Capitol, yep. these people went back in while there's still rubble on the ground yep. and they tore through everybody's desk and they threw the papers everywhere and they dumped everybody's books and they go <laughs> back in there and they yeah. still voted the same way they were going to vote before, before they stormed the Capitol yep. and they're having those people on meet the fucking press man like you can't just come on like they should never have them ever on any show that has any morals yes, like yes, sure yes, they can go yes, on fox yep. news and yeah you can go on fucking newsmax but on any place that matters yep. you shouldn't ever have a voice nope yep everywhere they should go they should be fucking pariahs because what these guys did is they they had a calculation see so where they said like well i survived the attack so now I need to make sure my career survives. Right. That's it. The fu they, these guys are supposed to be making decisions for the betterment of America, and they're just like, nah, I mean, I want to make sure that I'm on, well, the wrong side of history, but the right side of the paycheck. That's that's yeah. what I want. Yeah. I want to further my fucking career. So I'll just fucking lie about it. Like, eh, yeah. whatever, fucking lie about yeah. it. Fuck these guys. But I, everybody should hold them to account. Everything they say should be tainted, man. Yeah.
I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. I will hurl big bags of soup at him, Kevin says. I think that's a great idea. Soup for your family, though. I mean, initially (laughs) buy it for your family and then take it with you. And then if they're there, the soup can get thrown for sure. When we say it, can we be like, this is for blessings on your family? (laughs) This is for soup on your family. (laughs) You can tell, Tom, what I've been shopping for lately. I don't know if you can tell by looking at my screen. Oh, you've been looking at a grill. (laughs) Look at that. (laughs) I literally cannot stop everywhere I go now on any fucking computer, anything, any Facebook ad. There's some asshole grilling something. (laughs) (laughs) I looked at grills one time and now I can't I can't ever stop. I I will say I was deprived in Chicago because I didn't have an outdoor space. Right. So I didn't even I didn't have a grill. I never had a grill for a long time. And so for over I owned that condo for 11 years. So 11 years I never had a grill. And now I'm thinking, God, I really want to get a grill. (laughs) And once I thought it, it immediately popped up on that screen. It hasn't left yet. So it probably was up there about 40 minutes before you thought it. You just logged in. It's just like (laughs) the algorithm's like, he'll be thinking about a grill. He just bought a house. He moved from Chicago. Like, I know this man. Yeah. I know him in his heart. He's gonna get a grill. <laughs> He's gonna want a grill. Are you gonna um, get? So are you gonna get a grill? Or are you gonna get a, like one of those smoker grill combos? I was thinking. So they got these wood pellet ones. These wood pellet ones that I'm looking at. I I'm want thinking about getting one of those. That's on my um, fucking wish list, bro. Yeah. Yep. Because they do everything, man. They smoke, yeah, they, they grill. They smoke, they they cook quick. They have convection current. Like yep. there's a lot of pluses. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, but uh, I got to I got to do the research on which pellet one to buy. And I don't like to go into this. If I'm going to spend a couple hundred dollars on something, I don't like to go into it without thinking. I don't just like to walk in and be like, I'll take your finest grill today. So <laughs> I like to think about what I'm going to get. So I got to spend. I really want to get the, the I want to try those Komodo ones. But those ones are like nine hundred dollars. They're expensive. What, Komodo the dragon. Yeah. It's, I think that's how they pronounce it. Let me look one up. Now I'm going to get a bunch of ads for these guys. Yeah, I, you said it. So, is that like that green egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's like the. It's, it's like, like a the, big porcelain. It's like a big egg. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. ceramic grill. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's that's what so I meant. So it's made porcelain, of ceramic, of and they're they're like they're like they start at like. Wait, Cecil, is there a pig-shaped grill? I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you, Cecil, but is there a pig-shaped grill? This is a pellet grill, Tom. It's a pig-shaped pellet grill. Oh, my God. I can get this. It's a Cabela's. God, it's $1,600 for a pig-shaped grill. I don't care. I know what I want in my life now. I want that so... It's a pig-shaped grill. It's so tacky. I want Uh. that so much outside my house all day long. For... Oh... I know what I'm getting Tom this year for Christmas. It's beautiful. Holy shit. Look how hideous and wonderful oh, it is. Look at, and you know 100% smoke comes out of those nostrils. You I know. know. It does. Oh. You know it does. You, you just know made it, it so much. It's got nipples. It's got it nipples, does. Oh, it it's does got, it got nipples. nipples. Holy shit. Let's get another look at oh, this Oh, let's thing. get the exploded. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> You've got to make ribs on that the first thing you do. How do you not make ribs on that? The you make first a thing smaller you do. suckling pig and you take it out. You take a it's suckling like it's pig pregnant. out. That's what you do with it. <laughs> you cook a small <laughs> suckling pig in there and you just reach it and pull it out. That's amazing. Oh, my that's wife amazing. has meeting now. Oh, that's oh, so there's reviews. Amazing. People have bought this thing. Oh. God. Well, hold oh. on. Are there reviews? Hold on. There are like reviews. Yeah, it's like, like cooks. Oh, there's a picture of it. Look at oh, this picture. The of with it. One of the pig. Look at one of the pig <laughs> has a big ham inside of it. It's like a. It's like an operation. You just open it up and you take a tweezer and you pull out whatever's in there. The funny bone or whatever. You can pull out a whole ham. <laughs> it's made it my funny bone. I am a hundred percent going to own this. You're gonna Cecil, own this pig girl? Cecil. This is like, you know how I Hold always on. wanted a globe bar. This yeah, is know, up there, buddy. There's only one two-star review. What does it say? Lipstick, Lipstick on a pig. pig. <laughs> <laughs> Appearance is nice. Functionality is a big miss. Pellet hopper is located <laughs> inside the cooking chamber, and the hopper itself holds a quarter of what the hoppers on the outside can hold. You want a conversation piece? Get the pig. If you want to cook, get a different model, Tom. I want right the here. conversation piece. That's what I want. 
<laughs> it is the perfect store for Look it because Cabela's is, Cabela's is such a hillbilly hee-haw store oh, anyway. Absolutely. I mean, it's, like, as soon as you open this, you expect banjos to play. <laughs> <laughs> Love it so much. There's it's a bunch so of these ugly. pig ones. You can get it from Wayfair. <laughs> it's the same one. God, it's awful. I love it. Anyway, so these are those Komodo oh, yeah. ones. They're just like an egg, but they're they're ceramic, so I guess they probably hold the... This one's fucking... This one's a couple grand, man. Jesus. You really got to want it outside. And it, here's the thing. It's such a waste in Illinois, because I only get like three months I can use it. The rest right, of I the know. time... It's a, it's so cold or shitty or raining or there's fucking too many leaves on the ground. I'll start the neighborhood on fire. <laughs> there's no time to use a fucking grill. Why I, would I spend? Why would I buy like a fucking like a like a car $2, payment $2, worth of a grill? Like that's ridiculous. I know that's the I actually have a grill and I just moved it to the other side of my house because I haven't used it in four years. So, see, so I guess actually, if you want a Genesis <laughs> Weber grill, <laughs> I literally have one I have not used in four years. You could just have four, it. I, no, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. get a pig grill. <laughs> I want a pig grill. I saw, I saw I'll Haley you, comment. Okay. Father's Day is coming up. Yeah. Get a, I'll get a, get a pig grill and then I'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, deal. 